It's hard to keep up with Sam Smith's identities, but last night's Grammys, uh, they, as Smith now prefers to be called, identified as Satan. The performance riled many viewers, especially amongst the American uh, Christian fraternity, which are 210 million in America. Senator Ted Cruz said it was evil. Well, one of the scariest moments for me wasn't Sam Smith as the devil. It came with Madonna's general appearance. She seemed not to have got the memo that Halloween's in October. But are they, Sam Smith, pushing artistic boundaries or just pushing the limits of good taste? Shocking for the sake of it. Outraging, because why not? It sells records. Well, joining me now to debate all this, it's Madison Rowan, who performs as Tripping Jupiter, and the YouTuber and commentator Lauren Chen. So, Lauren Chen, let's start with you. I mean, it's caused outrage, this Sam Smith performance last night. He'll be quite pleased about that, because quite clearly, a bit like Madonna, his heroine, part of his shtick is deliberately creating outrage because it fuels interest and headlines and sells records. No, you're absolutely right, and people have said that this is a controversial move by Sam Smith. This is not at all controversial within Hollywood, and I want to be clear that Sam Smith did this specifically to upset the American right and Christians everywhere and to virtue signal to his fellow Hollywood members and elitists that, don't worry, he's on your team, he hates all of the things that he's supposed to hate. If he actually wanted to be controversial in Hollywood, what he would do is actually come out in favor of traditional values, because we know that would never happen in a million years, or he would, heaven forbid, actually do something that's critical of maybe Islam. That would genuinely be controversy, but of course, because that wouldn't be popular among leftist elitists, he's not going to do that. This is actually, in a lot of ways, the safest thing that Sam Smith could have done. Yeah, I mean, uh, now, Tripping Jupiter, do I call you Tripping Jupiter or Madston? Which one would you prefer? You could call me Madston. Madston, thank you for being on the programme. Um, this reminds me a bit of the Met, the Met Gala in New York when they all suddenly wore crucifixes one year. And as a Catholic, I read a column saying, you know what? You wouldn't be doing this to the Islam uh, religion. Why would you just do it to Catholicism and to Christianity? And that reminded me again exactly what uh, Lauren said about last night. Yeah, you can dress up as Satan and prance about having a bit of devil worshipping just to deliberately outrage 63% of Americans who are Christians. But given he wouldn't do that with other religions which are likely to lead to more serious repercussions for him, I thought it was a bit cowardly, if I'm honest. I mean, I don't think there's anything cowardly about Sam Smith. And, you know, if Lauren's suggesting that they are doing this just for publicity as far as, like, their identity goes, I mean, people struggle their entire lives with identity and the fact that they can come to a place where they feel secure enough to let it out in the public is a, an amazing thing and a beautiful thing and a really important thing as far as the... The, the, the red glitter hat with the devil horns, and I'm sorry, Ted Cruz, if anyone looks at Sam Smith and thinks the word evil, I think that they might frighten a little too easily. As far as, as, far as the Catholic Church goes, I mean, um, I can't think of a better, uh, you know, religion to criticize or to tweak, or because, I mean, I mean there's like decades and decades of, of child sexual abuse that got covered up. So they don't really have a right to stand out and be outraged when they no, no, but they're also decades. There are decades and decades of Islamic fundamentalist terrorism. And the point that Lauren was making, I think, rather powerfully, was that you wouldn't get Sam Smith mocking Islam in a performance yeah, but we're here at to the talk Grammys. About because, again, I mean, he wouldn't say it's cowardly. I'd say that is an example of kind of cowardice because we all know he wouldn't do that. And what he did last night, I'd say the he, I think he called they. They, what they did last night uh, was a deliberate act of provocation to a group of people who represent nearly two-thirds of America. And I, I'm, I find that an interesting strategic decision. You know, this is, a, this is somebody who wants to sell records in America... You know, it's a, it's a risky strategy to take on that number of Christians and mock their religion in that way. Well, I don't think anybody's religion was mocked at all. And this album by Sam Smith is, it's phenomenal. Um, it's got really positive messaging to it. But like, if you're gonna talk about artists pushing boundaries, this is what great artists do. You go back to David Bowie. He was attacked and vilified when he burst onto the scene. Lady Gaga, over a dozen years ago or more coming out, same thing. 
You could go back to, I mean, so are you gonna tell me you don't like David Bowie? You don't like Lady Gaga because people were unhappy? And the interesting thing is with these icons, go back to Katherine Hepburn, right? When she was doing movies, she wore pants and people freaked out. The detractors who push against people who push gender boundaries, Nobody remembers their names years well, I think later. The problem, we know I'll come Hepburn. back to Lauren, but the problem I have with Sam Smith is that they can't seem to work out what they are. So we went through a period where he was identifying apparently as a straight man, then he came out as gay and everyone was applauded, and then within, I think, 18 months, uh, he decided he wasn't a gay man anymore, he was going to be non-binary, gender fluid, and wanted to be called they. It's quite hard to keep up. Lauren Chen, not to be disrespectful to they, but it is hard to keep up with Sam Smith because every 18 months or so, he seems to, like a chameleon, flip into something, some other new identity. So, and then we have to respect that, those titles that they now want. No, you're absolutely right, and it's interesting because I was looking back to interviews when Sam Smith first came out as gay, and he actually back then would say things along the lines of, there's more to me than my sexuality, I just want this to be normalized, this shouldn't be a whole thing, which, I mean, by today's 2023 standards, that almost makes him sound like a right-wing extremist, the idea that his sexuality shouldn't define himself. Uh, but fast forward to today, apparently he's gotten the memo that the trendy thing is to come out as uh, some sort of trendy new gender every other day, and I just want to say in regard to Sam Smith dressing as the devil that's that's not part of your identity your fashion choices are not part of your identity sam smith deciding to in his music video wear a corset doesn't mean he's non-binary it all the, all it means is that he's desperate for attention has absolutely no sense of fashion well, and also and talking to people around and, him right and talking to people desperate for attention um maston i just want to show you madonna's head at the grammys and just i just wonder is this an example when you look at madonna at the grammys last night of where plastic surgery takes you if you're not very careful? If you're asking me, I'm not an expert on plastic surgery, so I prefer to go back to Lauren's comment. I just have a question for both of you. Have we got the picture what? of Madonna? Sorry, there we are, yeah. Sorry, yeah, go, right. go on, Mastin. Well, I, I wish her well. She's an icon. She's done great things in music and influenced a lot of people. My question is, why are conservatives, the ultra-conservatives especially, the only ones who are obsessed with what people wear, obsessed with how people identify, and obsessed you know with other Master, people's genitals? You we've run out of time, but I can answer one question. I'm not a conservative. So if that helps you, that will help the debate. Uh, Lawrence, Master, great to have you both.